Hello guys, happy Sunday. This is Minister Christian of Mount Moriah Baptist Church. I'm so happy you're tuning in to our children's church today. We are finishing the series that I am so excited to go through and to share with you all. Before I share what we're gonna be talking about today, I want to start with a word of prayer and I ask, will you please join me in prayer? Let us pray. Help me, Father God, we Thank you for today, God. We thank you for this series. We thank you for the children that are watching. We thank you for our church. We thank you for Jesus dying on the cross. Father, will we please just learn something in you today? Heavenly Father, may you get the honor and glory out of our time. Bless your children. Open up their ears. Open up their hearts. Open up their minds so that you can pour into them today. In your name we do pray. Amen. 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 Well, I am just so excited for um, what God is doing in your life. I'm excited that we just got through Easter, a very exciting time um, for the body of believers. And I'm excited that we get to go and finish up um, a, a series we've been doing called the Ten Commandments. And this week we are on the what commandment? Yes, we are on the fourth commandment. If this is your first time watching, don't feel bad. You can always go back to watch the other one. So don't feel like you have to leave. Stay right here. If you've been here following us along this journey, I thank you so much. And I welcome you here again. So um, one thing that you are happy about, that is how I want to start today. What is the one thing you are absolutely happy about? I will go first. I'm happy about the weather. Miss Christian loves the sunny weather and loves um, the springtime. You know, I have my little spring dress on and I've been so cold out here. So it's great to be in an environment where the sun is coming out. If you like when the sun comes out, raise your hand. Yes, 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 yes. So what are you happy about? What is one thing that has happened this week in your life that you are just so happy and grateful for? Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so, so, so much for sharing. I am happy about whatever you're happy about. So thank you for sharing. Um, as I stated, we are going to be uh, finishing uh, through a uh, like a 10 week um, series on the Ten Commandments and this week is week four. So I want you to go ahead. I want you to grab your Bibles and we are going to go into the book of Exodus where we will find our fourth commandment. So we're going to go to chapter 20. I want you to turn to Exodus chapter 20 verse 10 and it reads, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Holy. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. So let's rewind just a little bit. How long did it take for God to create everything in the earth? The sun, the moon, the stars, the water, humans, everything. How long did it take? Yes, yes, yes. It took God six days. And on the seventh day, what, what did God do? Yes, God rested, okay? This, this giant, this creator, this father, this, this, this powerful, powerful God created everything. And what he did on the seventh day was nothing at all. He rested. What are some things that you like to do when you rest? Okay, I like to maybe read a book. I like to uh, maybe sit in the park. I like to think and journal and write, right? So those are some things that you can do when you rest. And so God rested on the seventh day. What do you think God was doing? I'm not really sure what God was doing, <laughs> but I'm sure he was probably um, just wanting to be an example of what we should do. So how many days a week do we have everybody? Yes, we have seven days of the week. What are they? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so out of those seven days, the Lord is expecting you to rest. Why? Because it says it in the Bible, it says, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. So the Sabbath is a day that you honor 
when you're not, you know, doing a lot of things, you're not going all over the place. It is a sacred day, a sacred time where you pause, you rest in Christ. Okay. And so he just wanted to remind us that as we are humans, we like to do this and we like to go play. We like to do our toys. We like to talk to our friends. We like to go to church. We like to just have fun. We like to eat. There are so many things that we like to do. And he also said, okay, you can enjoy that, but also find a sacred day, a sacred time. And I need for you to keep it holy. I need for you to slow down. I need for you to get in your word. I need for you to spend time with me, which is God. All right? So maybe you have a Sabbath. If you have a Sabbath, what day of the week do you have your Sabbath? Okay? I have some friends, um, according to their beliefs, they have their Sabbath on Saturday. Um, I also know people who um, do nothing on Fridays. I have Jewish friends who do nothing on Fridays. Um, and then most Christians, we honor God on Sundays. We go to church, we praise God, we worship God, we slow down, and we really honor God. And so I just want you to know that, you know, whatever day you choose, the Lord will meet you there. Even if you have to start off by saying, okay, I'm going to give God 30 minutes on this day at this time. And then you say, next, I'm going to give God two hours. And then you say, maybe on Sundays, all I do is, you know, I do my homework in advance. I clean my room in advance. So then on Saturday, on Sundays, you can rest. So I want you to be thinking about how can you rest more in your life? How can you rest more and spend time with God? And a question, when you're resting, what are some things you can do? You can journal, you can listen to music, you can pray, you can catch up on your Bible reading, you can read some scriptures, you can do so many things with Christ and you don't have to burn yourself out, you don't have to get tired, you don't have to, you know, be really, really stressed because when you're in the presence of God, that is the greatest place you can be. And so... I just want to encourage you because I know summer is about to come. I know school is ending for a lot of you um, in a couple months, maybe two to three months. And you're just like, ah, I've been in COVID and I've been in quarantine and I and I just want to get out. And, and, and I just want to just be in the world and I want to do what I want to do. But as you're doing and as you're being and as you're going, I want you to remember to slow down. And to remember the Sabbath, which is the holy day, the sacred day. And you are to keep it in your heart. So what are some things? So say, for instance, you choose a day and a time and your friend is like, hey, I want you to talk to me. Or your sibling is, you know, in your room and they're playing with you and you're really trying to focus. What are some things you can do? You can communicate, you can say, hey, um, can you please just give me an hour? I'm spending some time with God. Or can you please just give me the day? I'm spending some time with God. Or after I finish this scripture, I promise we can talk all day long, but you have to honor that because people would try to take that from you, okay? So honor, honor, honor that time, slow down, Get some rest, get some energy, speak to God, thank God, worship God. Those are all things that you can do. So what is the fourth commandment? We have how many here? Yes, we have 10. And today we went over the fourth commandment. And what was it? Yes, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Remember it, keep it in your heart and keep it holy. Keep it holy. So um, I just thought about um, when we when we did our Easter uh, when we did our Easter lesson two weeks ago. I talked about how there was a, a a stone rolled over the tomb of Christ where no one can get in. So when you're keeping your Sabbath holy, it's kind of like you're rolling that stone and say, "Hey, you can't come in right now." Um, I can't go outside and play right now. I can't FaceTime you right now. You have to put that stone over it and just block yourself so that you can just have quality time with Jesus, okay? So, uh, I hope and pray that you have an amazing Sabbath. I hope and pray that 
you are able to have quality time with God. I don't know about you, but when I don't have Sabbath with Christ, I get very, very tired and I get sometimes cranky and I have to say, Lord, please help me. <laughs> and I don't want that for you. So I want you to honor that. I want you to honor that time and I want you to have an amazing time with Christ. Can we do that? <laughs> Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, we are on our fourth commandment. We have six more to go. I challenge you, if you want to see what the next commandment is, go to the book of Exodus chapter 20. And I want you to uh, just see exactly what was ne what's next. And if you know in advance, email me, youthministry at mountmariahchurch.org. I will guarantee to give you something, okay? All right, guys. So if you um, can think of anyone that you are praying for, I want you to say their names out loud. And we are going to pray to God together. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for your commandments, God. We thank you for all that you are doing in the life of your children. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you continue to be with them and bless them and keep them, oh God. And Lord God, whatever they're going through, God, will you just empower them and give them the strength that they need. And Lord God, let them find a day and keep it holy and get rest in you and speak to you and worship you like never before. We pray all these things in your mighty son Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So I hope and pray that you all have a wonderful week in school. I hope that you are enjoying the spring weather. And I hope and pray that we stay in touch. So God bless and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.